Okay, so let's let's attach the hand. Okay, attach na natin yung hand dito sa model natin. So this is the previous file that we have. Okay, so uh, ito na yun, no? So may mga ganyan tayo. So yun pa din yun. Okay, so now attach na natin yung hand. So get the chapter 11, clone it, and make it chapter 12. Okay. And then, you open that in. Okay. So let's start off with this one. Ihiwalay muna natin ito. Para ma-attach ma natin siya, we need to mesh combine this. Pero bago yun, actually, pwede na natin combine. Select natin ito. And then, mesh combine. Okay, so yeah. So since isang ano na lang siya, we already mesh combine this. Okay, so here, okay, delete natin yung faces na magkaharap. This faces, itong apat. Okay. Okay, this one. Delete natin to. And we could also delete this. Or. So, enough space. Take the lower. One, two, three, four. Okay. Done. Now, between edge loops. Ito mga edge loops na to. Diba, the last time we, we used uh, vertex and then weld, no? Now, meron other way. Ito yung tinatawag natin bridge. So, bridge usually does using uh, edges. No? So, paano yun? Ganito siya. So, select both, both open edge loop. So, select natin ito parehas. Ito. So, switch tayo to edge. So, and then, double click ko para paikot. And then shift lang, double click din natin to. And then make sure that properly selected sila. Okay, so double check natin. Okay, so okay. if it is okay, wala tayong na-select na iba. Okay. Now let's apply bridge. Actually, pwede naman yung weld, no? pa isa isa na. Para lang at least may idea kayo. Kung ano yung other way, kung gusto natin ng other way other than weld, no? pwede itong bridge. No? So, bridge is located under edit mesh and then bridge. Okay? So, simple as that ang mangyayari. Okay? So, what will happen is it would, it would create a flash between kung ano yung sinilect natin and slips. Okay? Ayan, no? So, ulitin natin, no? Finish. Bridge. Okay. And then, under division, okay, under division, ito, under division, gawin natin siyang 1. Okay, para meron tayong edge loop dito. Ayan, ito lang yan. Okay. Siyempre, gaganon yung kamay natin. I mean, babalok to. So, there may be a probability na kailangan natin gawin yan. Okay? Now, since medyo ahaba yan, tingnan natin sa top view. Siyempre, magkakaroon tayo ng content adjustment sa top view dyan. Okay, so eto. Maayusin na natin siya ngayon dito. Okay, so here, going to arrange this. We could actually select vertex. Para select natin to. Then move lang natin. Oops. So, hindi pwedeng ganun. Uh, baka mag-overlap yan. So, ito. Let's give enough space para dito. Yan. So, medyo pwede natin hilahin ito dito. Yan. And then, ito. 
And then just for I just let it go. So why is that So, pag tinignan natin siya dito, ayan na siya. Now, we could... Okay, kailangan din natin tingnan yung side. Eh. Ito, yung, yung part na ito. Okay, tingnan natin yung side na ito. Um, let's go back to one. Ito. So, kailangan. Medyo ayos din ito. Hindi nakaangat lang siya. And then ito siguro, ayusin lang natin yung pagkaka, ano niya. Para medyo maayos lang yung tsura niya. This is few adjustments lang naman. Ito. Tampa ito medyo tapat. Medyo. No. Uh, Kaba. No konti. Okay. Itong part na ito, medyo dapat na kumba rin ng konti. Ipapasok ito rin. Ito rin. Kasi nadagdagan tayo ng edge eh. So. Parang magmukhang maayos yung hands natin. So yan, yeah, no? So complete, uh, complete na yung hands natin. Okay. So, object mode tayo. Yan na. Complete na. Malas yung kamay natin. So, yan. Uh, next video natin is extruding the length. Okay. But for now, we're going to recreate all of this uh, down to the last one hanggang ma-attach natin na maayos yung fingers. Okay.